Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name weather rates most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good morning. Flooding continues to be an issue in some locations as you're leaving this morning for the morning commute. You never under any circumstances want to drive through a flooded roadway, which we are still seeing in some spots like the northern tier at this hour. So let's take a look at that flash flood warning we still have for the western portions of Bradford County from Ridgebury to Springfield, Troy, Leroy and Canton. This goes until 830 this morning at this point. So there's a flash flood warning for the western portions of Bradford County until 830. Now we still do have that flood warning for the Swatara Creek. This is in the southern portions of Schuylkill County. It's at currently just over 11 and a half feet, still above that flood stage of nine feet. We're keeping a close eye on this. It's slowly dropping, but it has been fluctuating a lot over the last 12 hours or so. So we'll keep a close eye on this. This flood warning is going to stay in effect until further notice. We do have flood warnings for the entire Susquehanna Valley for the most part. This goes until 9 a.m. and this is just because of heavy rain that we saw come through last night and heavy rain that continues to come through in some spots this morning. So let's take a look at some of that heavy rain. Now it's coming in from Hills Groves to Laporte. Picture rocks near Lairdsville and Moreland down near Ottawa, Washingtonville as well, extending over to Greenwood up near Polkville as well and just north of Bloomingdale on top of that. So this is a good batch of heavy rainfall that is slow moving. So the thing we're looking at with this particular batch of heavy rain is the water ponding up on some of the roadways. Maybe some of those areas of poor drainage will have a tough time keeping up with this one as it continues to move along, which it's doing at a pretty slow pace. So let's go ahead and throw that radar into motion. We can get a view of things here and you can sort of see that's where that batch of heavy rain is right now. But notice as a whole widespread things are not really that bad. We are starting to see a break, especially in the locations where we really could use one places like Northumberland County down near Schuylkill County as well. And right along in east of 81, we haven't seen too much of anything to begin with and just continuing to see scum scattered showers at this point. But unfortunately, we take it out for a wider view despite seeing a little bit of a break right now. Look at all of the rain that we still have to get through. That's near the Carolinas. All of this moisture continues to move up to the north as we go through the remainder of today, especially settling in as we go into this afternoon. So that is going to bring more flooding concerns as we go through the remainder of today. So let's go through future cast. Here's a lunch hour 12 o'clock. You can see after a little bit of a break now the rain returns, especially back into central Pennsylvania. That's where the steadiest and heaviest of this stuff is going to try to line up today. Now there still will be some heavy downpours along in east of 81. Those will be a little bit more scattered in nature. You can see west of 81 in the areas where we don't need any more rainfall. It's steady and it's pretty heavy as it comes through. So that's something we'll really be watching as we go through today. The same thing does happen tonight after a little bit of a break. More showers and storms fire up by tomorrow morning. We're looking for heavier downpours to continue. Now the good news is for those of us in central Pennsylvania by tomorrow afternoon looks like a majority of that rain stays along and east of 81. Now we'll still have a couple of showers and a thunderstorm to the west, but it looks like the steadiest and heaviest of that stuff moves off to the east starting tomorrow, but we still have today to get through. We obviously have tomorrow to look at east of 81, so that flash flood watch continues until 8 p.m. tomorrow evening for everybody. 80 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. It's mostly cloudy and humid. Showers and thunderstorms will continue. Those heavy downpours are going to cause some additional problems. 70 for the overnight low, 78 tomorrow, more showers and storms. Thursday and Friday, we'll start to see some relief. There still will be lingering showers and storms, but they will be much more scattered in nature and not quite as heavy. We stay in the mid 80s. Saturday and Sunday will dry out completely in the lower 80s until we get a little more rain to return on Monday. And don't forget the eyewitness weather app. You can download that to your phones and tablets. You can sign up for the alerts on there to get alerts on flooding as they become available. And you can also check out the interactive radar to look at some of that rain as you're on the go. The forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. So you see what's coming from that radar image way down to our south near the Carolinas. All that moisture, it has no east to west movement right now. Just straight up.